welcome to Stability Before Strength, my name is Oscar and I'll be your host. For previous videos, you can check out the channel. Hey guys, welcome to our series on Human Muscle Anatomy. Thank you for joining. Today we're continuing our series on Human Muscle Anatomy of the Lower Leg. Now the fourth muscle we're going to cover is called the Peroneus Tertius. Now the Peroneus Tertius or Fibularis is part of a group of muscles called the extrinsic muscles of the lower leg. So these 12 extrinsic muscles of the lower leg are divided into four compartments and your lower leg. Now the first compartment we have the anterior compartment which houses the peroneus tertius and in the anterior you also have three other muscles the tibialis anterior, the extensor jetonium longus, and the extensor hallucis longus. Now we also have the lateral compartment, which houses two muscles, and they are the peroneus longus and the peroneus brevis. Now we also have the <laughs> now we also have the sup superficial posterior compartment. Sorry about that. And that has three muscles: the gastrocnemius, the soleus, and the plantaris. And the last one is called the deep posterior compartment, which also has three muscles. And they are the tibialis posterior, the flexor jetonium longus, and the flexor hallucis longus. Now, in what compartment can you find the peroneus tertius, the anterior compartment? Good. Now, what are the other three muscles that make up the anterior compartment? The tibialis anterior, the extensor jetonium longus, and the extensor hallucis longus. Now, where in your body can you find the peroneus tertius? Well, the peroneus tertius can be found in the lower part of your shin. And it's going to be back over here. Now you can see the peroneus tertius back over here. I actually kind of drew it because it's kind of, it, uh, it's, it's in between the extensor between longus and the tibialis anterior muscle back over here. So. Now that we know where, it where it's located, let's find out where it originates. Now it originates in the distal anterior fibula and interossal membrane. So it's back over here. Now what's the origin of the peroneus tertius? Distal anterior fibula and interossal membrane. So it travels all the way back over here and it inserts into this spot right here. And this spot is called the base of the fifth metatarsal, the dorsal surface. Now, where does the peroneus tertius insert? The distal, the base of the fifth metatarsal, dorsal surface. Now, since it inserts here and it originates here, what will be the action of it? Well, it's going to dorsiflex the ankle and evert the, the foot. So, it's going to dorsiflex the ankle and evert the foot. And if we do those movements, you can kind of see it move a little bit more. You can see that it originates back over here and then inserts into the base of the fifth metatarsal. So just remember the actions, dorsiflexion and eversion of the foot. Now that we know the actions, let's go over the muscles that assist the peroneal tertius. Now the synergists include the extensor jetonium longus, the tibialis anterior which perform dorsiflexion, and also the peroneus longus and peroneus brevis which perform eversion. Now what are the synergy muscles that assist the peroneus tertius? The extensor jetonium longus, tibialis anterior, peroneus longus, and peroneal brevis. Now let's find out what are the muscles that go against the movements of the muscles. The antagonist muscle include well, funny thing about this muscle, it, since it dorsiflex and everts the foot, uh, it doesn't really have a main antagonist because most of the other muscles do either dorsiflex or invert or plantar flex or evert. So it doesn't really have an antagonist muscle. Now the nerve that innervates the muscle is a deep peroneal or fibular nerve. The artery of the peroneal fibula, fibularis tertius is the anterior tibial artery. Now, can you name the nerve that innervates the peroneus tertius, the deep fibular or peroneal nerve? Now, what is the artery that brings blood to the peroneus tertius, the anterior tibial artery? So now that we know what the peroneus 
fibularis tertius does, what is the next exercise that we can do to target that specific muscle? Well, sitting toe kicks out. You can do this exercise sitting down. First, you want to dorsiflex the foot and then evert the foot out. Now, pretend to kick a ball out. Now, you can repeat 15 to 20 times to increase the strength of this muscle, although it's not recommended for people who pronate when walking or running, since this will help you increase pronation. Now, you can think of the peroneus tertius or fibularis as a toe kick out muscle to help you recall the information we learn since that's the action it performs so you raise up your toe and you kick out you evert the foot now what is the stretch that we can perform to help stretch out the peroneus tertius now you can think of all the actions and movements of the muscle and just do the opposite it should look like this now sitting down in a chair you're going to curl your toes and then drop your foot into plantar flexion and also try to invert your foot in and gently apply pressure until you feel a stretch. Hold for 15, 30 seconds and repeat three to four times a day to help stretch out the peroneus tertius. Let's quickly recap everything we learned. Where is the muscle located? In the anterior compartment. What are the other three muscles of the anterior compartment? The TVL is anterior, the extensor deuterium longus, and extensor hallucis longus. Now, where does it originate? the distal anterior fibula and interosseal membrane. Where does it insert? The base of the fifth metatarsal, dorsal surface. What are the actions of the muscle? It dorsiflex and everts the foot. Now can you name the synergist muscles? The extensor deuterium longus, the TVLS anterior, peroneal longus, and the peroneus brevis. Now can you name the main antagonist muscles? Well, it doesn't really have any main antagonist muscles. Now, what is the nerve that innervates the muscle? The deep peroneal or fibular nerve. And what is the artery that provides blood to the muscle? The anterior tibial artery. You can remember the peroneal tertius or fibularis as the toe kick out muscle. So it's going to dorsiflex and then kick out, evert the foot. Okay, I think you guys got it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to join me next time as we continue our series on muscle anatomy of the lower leg. Have a great day.